What's up guys, it's Decacoon back with another video and in this video we're going to be taking a look at how Steve Jobs' death made Apple lose all their innovation in their company. Steve Jobs was a very innovative guy, which can be seen by all the products he has made. For example, he introduced a thousand songs in your pocket or the iPod. He also made the sleekest laptops at the time and he also introduced the thin and light which is now a very popular laptop style and how can i not forget the macintosh which is the first mass produced personal computer with a graphical interface also after he made mistakes he would always fix it by refining his products making them better and the customers always liked his products they always enjoyed what he'd made and they always bought it most most of the time but some those sometimes those flops but most of the time his products were really good and he was very innovative Innovative, and he could really sell his product because he had a very strong mindset uh, which really helped him sell the products to other customers. But sadly, in October of 2011, Steve Jobs passed away due to cancer and he gave his business uh, slash company to Tim Cook to be the CEO. And ever since then, the company flopped. Now, this is just my opinion, but just look at their products, they're not innovative at all. They're using the same lineup from Steve Jobs and they're just making it thinner and getting rid of ports and yeah, basically getting rid of stuff more than introducing stuff. They even brought in a stylus which was something Steve Jobs was specifically against and yeah, you can just see this company is not innovating. Now with the introduction of the 16 inch MacBook Pro, that has changed a little bit since I actually did listen to their customers and well, it's not really innovating but at least they're listening and making their product somewhat decent by introducing a better keyboard which is much more reliable and they also made the screen a bit bigger, smaller bezels, better cooling, a bit thicker, which is a good sign. I uh, didn't add any ports, but you know, they're going in the right direction at least. But let's be real, they haven't innovated anything in the last eight years after Steve Jobs passed away, which is quite sad, but they do make good products, it's just they're not as innovative. And I used to be a real fan of Apple actually. I bought my first technology product, which was iPod Nano. I was just listening to music, that's all I was loud at the time. Then I bought an iPod Touch, but I didn't really buy any Apple products since. I just bought Android and Windows stuff because I struggled to find a reason to, to go for an Apple product over a Windows or an Android product or from different companies because they usually have better specs and better prices and some of them innovate more like Samsung is innovating with their Samsung Galaxy Fold so I just struggled to find a reason to go for Apple so that's all from me guys hope you did enjoy the video yes this is at a random time of the week but you know it's school holidays right now so I have plenty of time to make videos leave a video idea in the comment section below if you want to see me make a video on it and I'll happily make a video on anything you let me know uh, probably not gaming that much because uh, I can't be bothered making a gaming video it takes a long time to edit but yeah, just leave your comments down below. Remember to like if you did like the video. If you didn't, smash the dislike button. Remember to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.